This is another live radio link up brought to you by the government communications GCIS. GCIS. G- Time has gone eight minutes after the hour, six o'clock, and it's a very good evening to you and welcome to our broadcast brought to you courtesy of Government Communication and Information System, the GCIS, in partnership with the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development and the National Prosecuting Authority, that's the NPA. This is now the uh, fourth edition of the Let's Talk Justice and Live Your Rights show. My name is Karabolans, Kistolo Savapidil Matebe, like Tabula Walla, and I'm a Jew and Alono, Ramorel, and I'm Chedi, Chimoka Sonyarona, Government Communication and Information System, the GCIS, Ramorolo. That's justice and constitutional development, the National Prosecuting Authority, NPA. So, I'm going to government communication and information system, the GCIS, justice and constitutional development, National Prosecuting Authority, joining us in the studio this evening. Very excited excited to be welcoming Miss Kamarelo Lukubu Wilderson and uh, she's the director and the unit that deals with the victims and specialized services when it comes to trafficking in persons you know it better as a human trafficking there we go so I might be using the two terms <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you Lance thank you so much that you've taken some time to be with us I really appreciate it and we're looking forward to the show this evening let me invite you as a listener to give us a call on our toll free number it is very easy by the way it's 0800 142 Let me repeat that number again. It's 0800 142 446. Kim Piwa Fela. Kailo landline. Otherwise, if you're going to be using a cell phone, you're more than welcome to give us a call initially. We'll take your details down and we'll give you a call back. Um, you can hook us up as well on uh, Facebook. You can go to at the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. Now there, you can post your questions and we'll definitely read them out on air. Otherwise, if you're a Twitter person um, wanting to tweet us, so you're more than welcome to do that as well. You can tweet us at D-O-J-C-D underscore Z-A. Let me repeat that. It's D-O-J-C-D underscore Z-A. What a wonderful show we had last week and thank you so much to all the partner radio stations that have partnered with us and all of the people that have called in. I'd like you to do the same as well um, this evening. Please, if you do that, we'll be very, very happy without wasting any further time. Um, Mega Morello was quite enthusiastic to come to the studio. Why? Simply because we're going to deal with a topic that is, you know, at everybody's um, lips, actually. And it's it's, it's one that um, government is really working hard to curb. And we're talking about uh, a topic that's called um, human trafficking. That's how we, you know it. We're possibly going to use the term trafficking in persons. Mega yes. Morello, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, um... We are actually excited as a Department of Justice to be here today to talk about trafficking in persons, commonly referred to as human trafficking. The reason why we actually call it trafficking in persons and moved away from human trafficking is because uh, the crimes that happen there deal with the uh, infringement of rights of people to the core. Almost all the rights that are in the Bill of Rights are taken away. And if you look at the uh, Universal Charter of Human Rights, you see that the rights that are there are infringed because uh, trafficking in persons is basically a crime akin to slavery. It basically destroys all fundamental human rights and freedoms of individuals. If you didn't know it before, that can give you a picture in terms of um, you know how intense this problem can be for any nation or any uh, country for that matter. And you mm-hmm. mentioned in that, that there are crimes that are associated with uh, trafficking in persons and linking to human slavery as well. Do you want to bring us up to speed with regards to that? Yes, um, I would say um, it's modern day slavery actually. Because mm-hmm. uh, when we look at the at different forms of uh, trafficking in persons, they take away your dignity, they take away your freedom of the person, they take away your freedom of movement, they even take away your fundamental freedom to determine your destiny. Remember when we talk about freedom, we basically say, freedom is the ability of a person to choose from an array of choices 
to f determine the course of their destiny. Right. So if as a human being, you are um, in the context of trafficking in persons, you're falsely told, for instance, that you are going to be employed in a ship as a ship hostess. Right. And you go there, work for three months. They tell you, you're going to work for three months. We're going to pay for your um, accommodation. Accommodation. We're going to pay for your airfare from uh, South Africa to Indonesia. We're going to pay for your uh, passport. And when you land at the ship or wherever you're going to work, your passport is taken away. Mm -hmm. It's an identity. Passport is a form of identifying you as a person. And obviously, without that, you can't move around. Without that, your freedom to move is not there. Without your ability to actually say that uh, I'm going to go and go back home because mm -hmm. I don't like this job, I'm taking my passport, going away, you're unable to do that. So um, uh, trafficking in persons, we prefer to say trafficking in persons because it goes to the fundamental individual person's rights. 0800-142-446 that's 0800-142-446 toll free number if you're going to be calling us from a landline otherwise if you're going to be giving us um, a tweet you can do exactly that at DOJCD underscore ZA that's at DOJCD underscore ZA we're also available on uh, Facebook uh, you can hook us up there at the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development if you've just joined us well uh, you haven't missed out on quite a lot we've just started really it's 15 after 6 and uh, we're chatting about about, uh, trafficking in persons uh, you know it better as a uh, human trafficking and so that's what we're going to be touching on for the rest of uh, the next coming uh, 45 minutes or so now I wonder what type of people fall victim to human trafficking because I'd like to believe it's not necessarily the vulnerable only that can fall victim to that yes human trafficking you know um, it, it it's a form of crime that can affect anyone mm -hmm. it affects people from middle class from the rich to the poor. However, as a government program, we ensure that uh, the vulnerable, we actually take extra measures to ensure that the vulnerable are aware of this form of crime so that we, we can say that those who have the ability to access information, we can you know, say that we share the resources and say, let's use mediums that we will be sure that people who don't have access to Twitters and mm -hmm. uh, your cell phones and so on are able to do this. Hence, we're using this radio format to basically um, tell people, message, yeah, yeah, to convey the message. What I'm excited about is, is, is that, you know, before we had a situation where we had a number, we don't have a, a, an operational Right. law in place we um the state president passed the trafficking the prevention and combating of trafficking in persons act uh in 2013. Right. however the departments have been working towards ensuring that they are in the position to implement this legislation in other words enforcement and yes right. so um we we are a few um weeks towards um basically having it implemented and promulgated into law meaning that we operationalize it what that does is it enables prosecution authority to now prosecute uh, the various forms of trafficking in persons under one statute whereas currently we've got close to 10 forms of um, 10 statutes uh, that are related to trafficking. Hence, it's very difficult for us as the criminal justice system to say how many victims of trafficking do we have registered in the system. Mm. We can only tell you about the statistics on trafficking for sex purposes because that was fully covered under the Criminal Law, Sexual Offenses and Related Matters Amendment Act. Mm. And people are being trafficked for different types of reasons, actually. Yes, exactly. Karabo, but that about on our community in Zengata, people really trust. You know, we find people um, being recruited for domestic work. You being uh, moved from Northern Province to Cape Town, and when you get there, 
you are kept under domestic uh, servitude mm -hmm. where you work for somebody your your passport or your id is taken you you are not allowed to go out or even go shop for yourself and at the end of three months you're kicked out you're not giving your three month salary but when you left your place of destination somebody recruited you under false pretenses saying that you have a domestic job that is often they color it uh, they'll say mm. you're going to earn 5000 rands we're going to fly you to cape town we're going to have you going to have your own apartment not knowing that when you get there your rights to go to to earn a living are taken away <laughs> you will be given stories at the end of the period uh, the that you support, you are checked out. Sometimes people die from this. Um, uh, instead of being checked out, they possibly get it, uh, eliminated, if I can say. Yes, definitely. It is the sad reality. Yeah. The example of um, a trafficking in persons for body parts is one of them, where you find that people, they are recruited to sell their body parts. And uh, they yeah. come into South Africa to say that I'm going to give my kidney. Um, and they're promised hundreds and thousands of rents. They are paid for. Their accommodation is paid for. Their period or their stay in the hospital is paid for. But by the time they're supposed to get the hundred thousand, the flight, the stay in the mm. hospital and all that is calculated and you come to zero. They say it's 150,000, you were promised 150,000, and then as a result, you go back home without anything. By that time, when you came to the country, your understanding was that you're selling your kidney, and this is not allowed in this country. Okay, it is against it. the law. <clears throat> Absolutely horrendous. Oh eight hundred one four two double four six. Now when I'm telling you, hello, Gori. When I listen to you, say long, Gori, you go so I like us on a. Now I'm going to learn a Gori. Can you let me know? Oh eight hundred one four two double four six. That's calling all the way from Cape Town. Uh, let's speak to Mkaza. Mkaza, good evening to you. Welcome. Good job, Baba. I've been, I've been, I've been trained to say that I'll get it right as we go along. Okay, Babum Kaza, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take your numbers down because that line is not actually clear. We can't hear you properly. But this is Otati number, Yakolana, and then we'll try either try to call you back on the clear line or we'll just uh, send your we'll send your details uh, to one of our uh, people that are dealing uh, with uh, cases like this. Let's move on. Arieko in Northern Cape, and we chat into Eddie from Kurman. Bra Eddie? Eddie? Good evening to you, Eddie. Okay, have we lost Eddie on the line? Eddie, are you there, Eddie? All right, um, let's move on quickly um, while we're trying to get a hold of Eddie. 0800-142-446, that's 0800-142-446. And, um, you know, the, the, these are quite, the, the news that actually, you know, which have been brought to our attention uh, that uh, we can very li listen to attentively because uh, we might help one or two people that might fall victim to, um, to human trafficking. And as we said, uh, it's not only the vulnerable that can fall victim to human trafficking, and, um, you know, you, one needs to be very, very careful, especially about these bogus uh, recruitment companies yes. that we always come across sometimes. So um, it doesn't matter how your desperation, how much desperate you are for a job. Um, there needs to be some form of checking that you do uh, before you take on uh, on some form of recruit recruitment that you are get given. Now, let's talk about the Constitution and what it says mm. about the human trafficking. As I said earlier on, I, I alluded to the fact that um, the rights that are violated by uh, the different forms of trafficking in persons' offenses, mm -hmm. they actually take away your right to dignity, your freedom to security of the person. 
meaning that nobody is allowed to take the se your security from you. Nobody is allowed to violate you because you're refusing to do one thing or another. You have the right to choose to participate in particular types of jobs and you have the right to say, no, this is not the job I bargained for. Yeah. Let us take an example of um, trafficking for sex purposes. And I, I would like people to understand that trafficking in persons is more than trafficking for sex purposes. But it happens quite a lot in um, prostitution where people prostitute others that you will find that uh, the security of prostitutes is not secured. They basically flocked for them to do the sex work. If you do not, they use force. These people will use force to mm -hmm. ensure that this person who is recruited is subjected under lack of security or freedom of the person. Then you've got the right to, to, to freedom of movement. You must be able to come and go as you wish. Whether you go during the day, at night, or whatever, you are allowed to go. So no employer can say that, I have employed you, you are in this dense, you know, club, and therefore as a result of being in my club, mm -hmm. you are not allowed to fraternize or go outside of territories that I allow you. Uh, this is where you find pimps following right. people That's around, yeah. and you cannot really mm. decide whether you want to go to hospital. When you have to go to hospital, there's somebody following you, going with you to the hospital, to the extent that our health facilities have actually re-strengthened their roles around uh, screening of um, uh, victims or people who come to health facilities. You cannot go into a consulting office with another person because this is another form of screening mm. because that security of the person is upon us as government to ensure that we will be able to screen you to check whether you are a victim or not. You know, I mean, that's mm, how we do. So you've got the right to freedom of movement that might be curtailed by these forms of um, um, these forms of offences. Mm -hmm. All right, we chat into... They are in mm. the Constitution. All those rights are in the Chapter 9 of our Constitution. If you remember about two weeks ago, we, ditched, uh, we touched on um, the Constitution. It was a main subject that we spoke about uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, you're more than welcome to go to www.youtube.com and check us out. We've got a video that's posted on there. Mm. If you've missed out on that, go learn a little bit more about the Constitution and get to hear what the other listeners are saying and their questions with regards to the Constitution don't miss out on that. 0800 142 Let's take your um, callers quickly and uh, hear what people have got to say. Let's go to Uppington and we chat into JC. Good evening to you, JC. JC from Uppington. All right, let's go to Billy from Skukuni. Billy? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, <laughs> Especially the family, but I'm sorry. I'm 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Dandy Billy, thank you so much for your call. I really appreciate it. If you've got another call on the line, 0800 142 446. 0800 142 446. Um, we are very happy to take uh, some of your calls. And then if you want, uh, we can also um, uh, take you up on our Twitter handle at DOJCD underscore ZA. That's at DOJCD underscore ZA. Hook us up on Facebook as well at the Department of Justice and Constitution development uh, do we have uh, Eddie on the line uh, JC on the line let's take JC quickly from Uppington good evening to you JC good evening how are you sir I'm very well in yourself sir I'm also fine I'm JCT from Uppington I just want to ask the question because of the fact that lack of a job is the order of the day here in Uppington and sometimes but Babaka Tiro and then Honor Batobaka promise that for Baho Bafadi Tiro Yalokobo Cape Town. When they arrive in Cape Town, they don't find the job they promised. And then Haba Boako Baka Hikaloko Basu Tiri. Yano, what can be done to solve this malady because of the fact that most of the time of Hikaloko Batobaka Ma Babaka di Tiro Yalo, Boholo Yamo, Apin, Nemo Yaka Honor Baka Sokobo Kuru, Maneva Toka, but majority of them. From up in the in Kibota for a case and for a push a casidira, maybe to solve this problem. Rajesi Kita go hole bohelo and now for a widow at Anna Kwaha Horu Beleruna. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, it has gone 29 after 6 o'clock. As I said earlier on, joining us in the studio, coming from the Department of Justice and Constitutional uh, Development, to come and answer some of the questions that you might be having. Trafficking in human, uh, trafficking in persons, I beg your pardon, where now we eat as uh, human trafficking. But we're going to be using that term going forth. Uh, that's what we want to familiarize you uh, with the term uh, trafficking in persons. And uh, may Let's start with this one. Somebody mentioned um, 30,000 kids. That's a figure that's been researched, apparently, mm. of kids that are being um, that go, go missing every year. What is the department doing with regards to information like that? Yes, um, if I will talk about the JCP at, at, uh, JCPS cluster. Mm. There's a huge program that is ran by SAPS. Um, this program is uh, aimed at identifying lost children because our po first point of entry when we call a about a missing child is uh, Department of Safety and Security or SAPS. So this program basically screens the type of children that are lost to check whether these children could be abducted or taken out of the country for the purpose of illegal adoption mm -hmm. or any other means. So that program, it would be a program that SAPS would talk about very fully at a, at a later stage. Um, we also have the child protection uh, program that is ran by the Department of Social Development, basically within the criminal justice uh, cluster. Mm -hmm. What we do is to ensure that members of the public are aware of the responsibilities that we have towards children. The Department of Social Development is responsible for a particular act that looks at child neglect. The, the Children's Act deals with child neglect, and if a parent neglects a child, they may be charged under the law, under the Children's Act, for uh, basically abandoning their children. So right. it is a, a, a criminal offense to abandon your child. Um, it must be clear that no parent, whether it's a woman or a man, they neglect their child, leave them out wherever, and assume that they are not going to be under the might Even of the guardians. Um, I mean, even they... guardians. Mm -hmm. Even if you are a guardian, you are supposed to take care. You, your duty of care is utmost importance, of utmost importance. And child care givers, like Hori Kreching and that type of thing, Hori Kolo. Hey, 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 lady child care givers. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things that uh, the Department of Just, uh, uh, Social Development is, is very um, particular about is to screen child care minders. Right. They have to be registered. Okay. They have to be screened. You cannot be taking care of a child if you were found to be abusing children. Uh, the, um, 
the National Child Care and the National Child Protection Register mm -hmm. will basically prevent you from working in that environment. And the uh, National uh, Register for Sex Offenders, also if you were found guilty of a sex offense against a child, mm -hmm. you will be um, uh, precluded from working with children in that environment or even adopting a child. So um, we are working on systems to really sh ensure that children are not neglected Children are not abandoned. Children are not abused. Children are not exploited. The ch in terms of trafficking in persons, the biggest problem is exploitation for the purposes of labor mm -hmm. and also for uh, trafficking for pornography purposes. Uh, children are lured into situations where they are used to, to reveal their private past and uh, at the end of the day, they are, you know, trashed once they are used for those purposes, so that some adults somewhere mm. can gratify themselves. We will definitely, with the implementation of the prevention and combating of trafficking in persons, be able to successfully prosecute these type of offenses. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to know, uh, the lack of jobs, um, they were calling yes. from Uppington, uh, having said that the lack of jobs are actually a contributor, a contributing factor towards uh, child traf uh, I beg your pardon, uh, trafficking in persons. persons. Yes, you know, South Africa is a country of origin, country of destination, country of tra transit for trafficking in persons. So our uh, unemployed people cannot uh, escape trafficking in persons. Mm. And it is very important for people to understand. And JC said something that is very important, that people move from their place of origin and are transported to... Uh, far provinces or towns and at the end of the day by the time they come back they don't have the fruits of labor that they went to towns for and what i normally say to people and and to communities when we do our public education programs a uh, one-on-one -on -one or you know uh, when we go on house to house uh, kind of campaigns we actually tell people that when you are recruited you first have to verify with your local labor uh, department or unit to check whether that particular establishment exists. If it's not registered, then you must begin to question. The second issue is you must ensure that you check whether this is a legitimate establishment through calling. Mm. We have had situations where we had a, a shopping mall uh, outreach well, one of the uh, shoppers came and said, I was basically here to come and Horeka airtime, Horeka that the Kono Buale Moto and Dailing Ari, Ota Refam Sebezu, Go Cape Town, Mara, Botata Banana Libona Kori. This person at different points who use different types of cell phone numbers. Mm. And when she's supposed to call the person back, she's not able to get the person. That is the definite sign. As soon as I want to no, here there's um, something really fishy. Red flags, yeah. When you get to your place <clears throat> of destination, nobody must take your passport. Passport or ID, key your personal belonging. It has to be, ult at, ultimately, we must make sure that it is on your person. Mm. It cannot be on another person's um, holding. So, you know, Signs and symptoms are there. Mm -hmm. we, we, we don't trust our inner voice. We just think, oh, I want a job. This desperation, desperation. Yeah. that I want a job makes you overlook uh, Some of the, the signs. signs. Yeah. But this doesn't sound like an illegitimate thing. Yeah. And we have found that in, 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 it is said because Body cases in the recruitment of young people, people who are about 14 years. How do you recruit a 14 year old for a job in Pretoria? I mean, that's not even it um, is illegal. That's illegal already. Yeah. And parents let their children go from Eastern Cape. And that's how we found young people in very dire situations in towns where they are used for sex purposes or for labor exploitation. So we really say that 
parents be aware, be really vigilant about things like that. You might be poor, but you're not for sale. Your child is not for sale. All right, 0800-142-446, 0800-142-446. Eric, get it quickly, let's take one or two uh, Facebook or tweets and then we'll go to the telephone line uh, just now. Uh, uh, I think it's Baron Daisha Furi wants to find out what can a citizen do if they know about trafficking in their area? Uh, it's going to be a very interesting one then. So let's note that one down and we'll come back to it. Since 1994, South Africa has been a new democratic country in which everyone has a right to vote. And Usiba uh, Nonwati Lukazi Mtebele says uh, that how can we minimize human trafficking in our societies? What must be done by societies? Thank you so much for Kanya, uh, Kanya Community Radio for taking this one up. So we're going to be answering some of those questions now shortly. But for now, let's go to the telephone lines. It's a very good evening to you, uh, Kola. What is your name and uh, where are you calling from? Okay. <laughs> We're definitely going to do that. Uh, just before the end of the show, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. that. We're going to do that. 20 minutes just before the hour, 7 o'clock, 0800-142-446, 0800-142-446. Let's take another call on the line. Caller, good evening. What is your name? Where are you calling from? I'm uh, from Defender from Ganyamazane Community Radio. Baba Gunjani. Very touching issue, human trafficking, we really appreciate the topic. Uh, secondly, Bombela, especially Bombela and Pumalanga, who intersections in my robot. allegations, most of them they are not from here, they are from Zimbabwe, but there are allegations to somebody who is in Zimbabwe just for, to, to make money for them, but like, I mean, it's a sad story whereby as Africans we traffic people from other countries to bring them into, into, into the country so they will spend the whole day asking, uh, begging for money from motorists. Well, like when a wife, they've got uh, kids that they are with them and they are not even going to school. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll we'll touch on that as well. It's a very interesting one, and actually, we'll definitely touch on that. I really appreciate your call. 0800-142-446, 0800 gone 19 before 7. Uh, Babu Preza from Skukuni. No. Le Preza. Preza. Mo, mo le 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 how Yeah. What what a brisa Yeah, why we are living now in democracy, but you know then project the then Okay, project one. But no, he uh, only one uh, CFA license officer. Then uh, it takes what you must follow for the mayor, Alan Mosti. Rena Fari, Baba, 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 the Mubar Dulamo, are you just sitting? How much is the service of Bonam? Then it was written in the yellow, really, what I got. Hurry up, which is a little person, Quapa, what did you know? Quapa, the Muka officer, and all the Yamashati, the tribal authority offices. Then have I just said that I project is very close, project is very billions from uh, Spain, 
Right. For you or your families. Okay. Yes. There's still a, a couple of more questions that we're going to answer yes. now. But before we do that, let's take Ayanda from Letabi. Ayanda? Hello. Hi, Ayanda. Hi, how are you? I'm good in yourself. I'm good. Excellent. Your question, please. Um, before I'm going to ask a question, well, um, I think it's like a 30 year old girl, like she's married, and then she's married, and then she's married, and then she's married, and then she's married, and everything. So, now my question is if, if a minor agrees to engage in commercial sexual activities, why is it considered a crime, or why is that person considered a victim? And again, Okay, will we be able to reduce trafficking if the government legalize the prostitution? That's all. Okay, the first one I would like to believe. I mean, if the person is 13, definitely. Yeah. I mean. let, let, let me talk to that. Mm -hmm. If you are 13, who should be this? You know, uh, we, we have a case called State versus Chazile. It's a typical case that shows that government takes this very serious. Yeah. Uh, in that case, a young child, a young girl, was basically toilet, uh, the the toilet, yeah, yeah. Um, they say uku toilet. It's similar to hoshube mm. siwa. And um, the perpetrator basically argued that um, she married this young person via uku twala. And uh, our traditional leaders were actually in court with us to say that that is not uku twala. Uku twala does not involve force. Okay. There must there must be consent. Ukutwala does not involve children. It must be between adults. So we have distortion of culture. Right. Yeah. People use culture to hide against to to hide their criminality. We just as as a South African government will see it as um a, um forced marriage. We will deal with it as forced marriage, and we will have no mercy. And we will also, in this particular instance of state versus Jezile, mm -hmm. this guy is going to jail for a long, long time because uh, some of his conduct inclu uh, included criminality, assault, you know, abduction. He was charged for assault, abduction, yeah. rape, uh, different counts of rape. And the minimum sentence law uh, can um, actually, I think this person was sentenced to life imprisonment. Uh, no, it's wrong, Ovele. It's it, wrong. It, it, it wrong Ten it's minutes strong. just before seven o'clock. Call eight hundred one four two double four six. Radio Riverside. Thank you so much, guys, for taking our show this evening. We really appreciate it. Listening to your radio is Jason. Jason, good evening to you. Hi, Krabo, and thank you. I'm um, Krabo. Actually, a few questions. Yes, sir. With the new uh, vision regulations, um, taking that in consideration, how effective is it, keeping in mind the two boys that recently were allegedly kidnapped, respectively? And also another one, um, uh, human trafficking does not necessarily refer to being taken outside the borders of South Africa, but within the country's uh, boundary. How is the department making sure that the law prevails and take action in this regard? And how far would the justice, justice system then go, especially to assist big of trafficking. Jason, thank you so much for taking time to chat to us. It's a pleasure, Karaba. Thank you so much for taking my call. 0800 142 446. 0800 142 446. Uh, yes, let me uh, respond to the uh, caller from Kwanya um, Mazan who was talking about, or the caller who talked about blind people being right. used. Godukoning, yes. Yes, Godukoning. Um, <laughs> We, we, we have uh, what we call the, we would call them raids, or okay. raids. I, I'm going to use a colloquial right. language to say raids. Okay. But uh, the police, the municipality, the national um, the department of uh, home affairs right. will form a task team. And once a report like this is there, they will conduct what they call um, an unannounced um pounds on an establishment. Right. So if you provide information of the kingpin to the police, I assure you those uh, raids are happening on a daily basis. The problem is we are not given information. The community does not report. We do not get reporting. If we do not get reports, it becomes difficult yeah. for us to know. 
But at the same time, um, I believe what he is also saying is that it's clear we see people with children who are small. The Department of Social Development from time to time conducts um, programs where they go and basically take the children away. But you know we have processes in the country. Mm -hmm. We have to abide by the Constitution. You cannot just take the child away. You should be able to know to ensure that the child is safe. You should ensure that there is a speedy justice service to hear the side of the story of the parent and, and also protect the child. So those issues are issues that we're looking at with the Department of, of uh, Social Development. But if we f get a report, uh, SUBS has what we call um, the human trafficking deaths. Right. So if you report to SUBS, you, SUBS will refer your matter to the human trafficking desk. In all the provinces, the Department of Justice has what we call a human trafficking task teams. These task teams are composed of prosecutors, your social workers, your NGOs, who are there to make sure that if there is a reporter, there's protection, housing for uh, the victims, there's definitely law enforcement can act quickly mm. on the matter. So the task teams really help, but your point of entry is SUBS, which will activate either the human trafficking task team's response or the uh, human trafficking desk uh, SUBS uh, coordinator response. So you will have quick response because we realize that this form of crime requires quick action because often this is an organized crime. But to Badula Fate and say, how I are pray. we going to make this establishment mm. look legitimate? Yeah. So what you think is legitimate, it might not it be. Might not be. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a crime where we really organize ourselves to have rapid response. 0800 142 446 Now, the late Brenda Farsi, um, she comp uh, she put together a song which was absolutely brilliant about a place called Bipatong and listening from Bipatong ke Brakeni Moropa. Kenny? And listening from Bipatong ke Brakeni Moropa. Makenzo? Hello, sir. Kiko Pawe Kuali, Kiko Pawe Kuali, Kiko Pawe Kuali. Thank you very much, sir. I was awake, I was awake. All right, you, sir. Yes, sir. What is your question, Brakini? I am worried about the We see children who will bar up and down. Baraba, as young as 12 years, 14 years, or exhausting, or exhausting. So, our world is not in trouble or no. So my question is, now, uh, the immigration laws are now, I'm really worried about our immigration laws are now, but uh, about 12 years, 14 years, about uh, cross Then my second question would be, uh, can we have a help desk? Uh, more police stations are uh, uh, trafficking persons or not. How, how could uh, the police station that not look at How do they work with us? Because I don't think we are doing enough to the uh, to inform people, to educate people. Uh, uh, these are the signs. Uh, how about an so we should know, no. This means Mutona uh, traffic here. So basically, those are my two questions, but I'm really happy about learning uh, to Then I, I also need some uh, further information in Mera Resorna. I just get the police station in a, who do we talk to? I just want to the police station in a way, help desk here yeah, uh, in this uh, particular thing that we are talking about. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, Brakeni. Listening all the way from Ibatong. And now we're going to uh, Thunder Bay Park. Listening uh, from them, it's Billy. Good evening to you, Billy. Thunder Bay Park. Listening uh, from them, it's Billy. Good evening to you, Billy. Oh, you say? Billy, uh, can I ask you to please switch your radio off? I can hear myself and I can hear you in the background. Okay, sorry, man. Thank you so much. Now, going about how we could well love, and which is good, but uh, sometimes yeah, it doesn't work. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> My apologies. I don't think my business is that thing. You need to hold your own. Yes, sir. All right, but Billy, put your hand on your brother. 
Right. And then Babata ID how na yo. And then how about ki jaloka an illegal immigrant go country, let's say outside countries, mila yawana high swan. And then South Africa about tolam tajwalo mila yawana house one. So South Africa if you are like get bow arrested here, then they will take you to Lindela. Okay. But uh, based well, on the based on suspicion so sorry. Is it based on suspicion sorry or a foreign national? Is it did we Billy? Yes, sir. Yeah, Kerry uh, Potoya how the way we be angating would 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 the police arrest you based on a suspicion that you're probably a foreign national who is not legitimately in South Africa? Yeah, you are an illegal immigrant looking the most South Africa without proper paper paperwork. All right. Mm -hmm. And then now maybe say the individual try to explain or but one demo I just have escaped from what and they don't believe they thinking you're coming with an excuse. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, but well, we, of course yeah. they, they cannot trust every word from everybody. Of course. Uh, which they yes. shouldn't actually to yes. start yes. with. They don't trust any word and if you get a no nanakin word you take it this can say that it's mona but blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But they don't believe me. And then that kind of person, he told us a little bit on going to the country to Alim Hotona or Namo High. All right. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Billy. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely touch on it. Uh, let's take uh, Cabello from Makado. Cabello? Uh, Carabo? Yes, sir. <laughs> Cabello? Uh, Carabo? No, that's good. That's good. What, is your, what is your question, sir? No, I got the question. It's just a concern, man. I don't go ahead. Uh, I don't want to come over rural areas. I have to the government. I have to share this information. I will come over to my work and more rural areas. Sometimes, like, you know, 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 just because I'm not uh, that information. But what will I say now? I'm going to report it. Have you heard about situations, Gumakado, uh, Kabedo, with, with what we're talking about uh, this evening? No, no, I have a single give one, but uh, if uh, information I think I will call Momo Waksunga, like Rodin Chess, you are not, you are not, but just because I'm not information, you can have a human trafficking. I guess you will have a taxi report. But only if a global government doesn't have a commodity, the Colombo, or not more tribal offices, or open over the Ulela Livat. I think we are not going to turn out for some trade. All right, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. We'll check in the rural areas when it comes to information dissemination. Yeah, especially what we're talking about this evening. Seven o'clock on the dot. Arenge Omongape, listening all the way from the Eastern Cape. Uh, this is one of our partner radio stations who are actually doing very, very well in terms of supporting this program. Vugani FM. Patrick, good evening to you. Good morning, Mr. Omongape. I hope so. I hope I did. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, uh, this is uh, one of very important and uh, and uh, a, a very in, um, a sensitive issue in in a way. I've got only because of time. I've got only one question to ask. Um, uh, uh, in terms of um, uh, forced marriages, uh, uh, how does the department or NPA? address that issue because i think that's one of the uh, of the uh, reasons especially in the rural part in the rural areas uh, from eastern cape and and, and areas like Koli Pombo, uh, whereby you find that um the young girls as young as as, as, as 13 12 uh, they have uh, uh, they are forced to marriages and 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 uh, on this case uh, or on, on or on this topic that we're discussing today uh, how do we align uh, forced marriages uh, with uh, and through, uh, yeah, um, yeah, your human trafficking. Can I want that? Thank you so much, Prophet. Uh, thank you so much, Vugani FM. I'll go ahead, Zakes, all the way from yeah. La Palale. Yeah, now, I'm going to meet you again. I'm going to meet you again. I'm going to meet you again. Hey, Kabel, how are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm going to meet you again. Yeah, I'm going to meet you again. Yeah, I'm going to meet you again. Um, on a little bit of outside, okay. Yeah, I'm on a little bit of outside, maybe when I'm not going to get on a mission to us, family, host family, somehow, okay. Yeah, we told her maybe uh, you've already married someone, yeah, and all I'm not going to get on a little bit of outside, 
support, everything must be in your hands. And how you go on the car opera for each other, that's a lot of that's a problem. So that you can't even do that, they can't allow you or no to be in a lot of this family. Then I don't know. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. Okay, um, Brazix, what you're talking about, actually, it's one of the programs that we dealt with last week. And the second section of that program is going to happen in the future that deals with the whole issue about maintenance and the whole issue about, you know, custodianship and so forth. My advice to you would be this one. On YouTube, how Gaia and search for the Department of Justice and Constitutional Developments program, Cities and GCIS. You will get that answer because it's one, un it's one question that I've asked last week uh, with regards to Tabatao Chin Chadifani and all of that. Let me propose that you go watch the entire show for more information about other things as well. How about that? Okay. Thank you so much. But we'll take, should you not come around, give us a call and we'll definitely help you. 0800-142-446, 0800-142-446. answering uh, the question here, the two boys who were kidnapped. Right. Um, I would say, you know, um, the strategies that government uses to for child protection and for the prevention of trafficking in persons act um really uh, some of the successful strategies mm -hmm. we've had one child brought from malawi that was um actually en route to uk and uh, that child was brought with back from Malawi within a period of 48 hours wow. from the time of, of, of reporting. So what is important is reporting. Speedy reporting. Speedy reporting. Yeah. The second issue is that our new immigration laws um, and visa laws have been tightened to ensure that we protect children. And uh, we are able to screen these cases as we go along. But as the law, I mean, we always have uh, sleep ages, but I'm sure that the law enforcement agencies will definitely work around the clock to look at this kidnapping incidents and ensure that the children are returned home. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody also mentioned uh, the issue of the fact that uh, there are young children in Wibadong who are basically enslaved and, and also probably... Um, uh, kept in forced marriages coming from Mozambique. Yeah. I will I will definitely take that case. We will deal with it as part of the Houting Human Trafficking Testing. We will definitely go into Wibadong to raise awareness, door-to-door -door co campaigns to ensure that people know that uh, they can report to police. That's an example, yeah, reporting. Yes, because basically yeah. we want people to report as right. soon as possible. Okay. We do not have, we do not give our coordinators who are coordinators for combating uh, counter-trafficking desks, we do not give them uh, their names or their numbers. Mm -hmm. You report to the police station, the police station will contact the coordinator for you because these are covert operations Obviously, that yeah. we we use because this is organized crime. Mm -hmm. um, and we talking about a screening of uh, victims of human trafficking. I am sure that if we were to find that a police man did not follow the national police instructions that actually ask people to screen um, uh, anybody that they who says that they are a victim of trafficking, they need to screen this person. Mm -hmm. And if they find that they are a victim, they must immediately transfer them to a place of safety. Mm -hmm. The Department of Social Development has a number of safety, uh, safety houses where victims of trafficking in persons can be housed. Mm -hmm. They will be housed, they will be, arrangements will be made to Re relocate them home, back home. I want to say one principle. You see, the unique situation with trafficking in persons is that you come into the country under false pretenses or with force, and therefore your intention of coming to the country was not to do that which was illegal. Yeah. Therefore, as a country, we have the responsibility to protect your rights as a victim. Mm -hmm. The act clearly stipulates that we have to protect your rights. And and therefore, we first have to house you. You have a 
a period of 30 days within which we can take you through a, a, a debriefing counseling kind right. of program. We, we basically make sure that we know where you are coming from and we relocate you. Mm. We don't deport you. We relocate you to your uh, place of origin. So it is important for people to know that if they are victims of trafficking, they should explain the circumstances under which they were kept so that the screening process, I mean, the, the, uh, the screening process can identify you as a victim as such and give you appropriate protection. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. There's so many things uh, that uh, we need to st uh, still speak about when it comes to this issue, yeah, trafficking in persons. But there is a number on standby that we, uh, which you can call. I'm looking at the time now. We've actually ran out of time uh, in three minutes. So um, have you got a number where people can uh, raise their concerns and call us in? Perhaps um, I will actually wait for my colleagues uh, to give me that number. But um, in the meantime, I'd like to thank everybody who's uh, called in and uh, making sure that, um, you know, this... Uh, um, program goes according to plan and all the information that's required is being given uh, to the um, to, to everybody that's listening and all the radio stations that have partnered with us would like to thank you as well for having uh, made sure that uh, this uh, program goes on. Thank you so much to our guests in the studio as well contact details I've got two here I've got for the SAPS as well as the National Prosecuting Authority those are the people that you can get a hold of um, it is 08600 10 1 that's an number that you and I uh, should know 0800 10 triple one not only trafficking in you uh, trafficking in persons but any form of crime can be reported on that number otherwise the National Prosecuting Authority's number is 012 845 6000 that's 012 845 6000 yeah one hour goes very fast I, I, I would like to say that um, you call those numbers as well as, I uh, don't have the numbers, but uh, you can write down the name of the organization. International Organization on Migration is one of the organizations that we deal with. They will definitely be in a position to assist. So there we go. That's the International Organization on Migration. Uh, those are the people that you can get a hold of uh, should you require any assistance on uh, further information on that. I'm actually going to try to look it up quickly uh, before we say goodbye. But um, as I said, thank you so much uh, for the producers uh, that have helped us with regards to this show and thank you so much to everybody who's called in and uh, would like to say to you it's a, been a very quite um, hectic four weeks with information and uh, if you feel that you've missed out on any of the topics that we've dealt with in the past I would like to invite you to please go on to YouTube okay and then there you can find the programs that have passed all three of them have been loaded there in fact I was watching myself it's quite good to see this face on TV for a change you know let's leave radio so there we go Mecca Mokhelo Likubu Wilderson the director in the unit that deals with victims and specialized services when it comes to human trafficking uh, that's what you call it we refer to it as trafficking in persons let me say thank you for thank your time you. I really appreciate it thank you Karaba it's good to have you here so international organization on migration uh, all right, we beg your pardon for that um, glitch when it comes to sound. And these things happen when you're doing a live broadcast. I just want to pick up that number quickly, man. This computer is very, very... There we go. International Organization for Migrations number, if you need to call them, is 012-342-2789. 012 342 uh, If you want to send them a fax, maybe we'll send them any fax, that type of thing. 012-342-0932. 012-342-0932. If you're living around the Pretoria area or the Gauteng area and you can get uh, to... Pretoria, you can go to Salem Building. They're on the third floor. It's number 353 Festival Street in Hetfield. In fact, they're just down the corner from us. So if you need to chat to them, you're the more than welcome to do that. From myself, Karabalans, Stolo Saba Pidul Matabele. Man Chachi Jagadi Powder this evening. For the purposes of YouTube, you see. Or a little level, a little nugget of motion. So if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it, you can't get a lot of people. Next week, we're going to be talking about an interesting subject as well. Looking forward to it. I thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.